Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. In this video, we're talking about 300 blackout boot lot drop and energy out to extended ranges. Now there's quite a wide variety of factory loadings that you could pick up for your 300 blackout. Mostly in between the 220 grain on the heavy end subsonic and on the light end, the lightest you're pretty much going to see is 110 grain. I got two quick examples right here just to show you. This right here is some Barnes Vortex 110 grain. That's a tipped round. The uh, box is saying these are supposed to be going 2,350 feet per second. And then, that's the light end. On the heavy end, I got some of these Remington 220 grainers and these are supposed to be going what just a shade over a thousand feet per second so this through a can is going to sound like almost nothing this is going to have that crack because it's 2300 some feet per second but just to put them side by side 110 grain 220 grain oh uh, yeah supersonic and subsonic so why would you want 300 blackout well through a shusher machine it's awesome and it's really fun and it's quiet saves your ears and uh also it's quiet uh in a supersonic you might uh might go catching some whitetail with it so you could have a 300 blackout rig you catch deers with the lighter stuff the 110s the 125s up to the 150s we're going to talk about some of this here in a second or in the subsonics you can be quiet have fun plink at the range whatever whatever you want to do with your 300 blackout that's your business but we're going to talk about some data here in this video how fast does each of these drop it's pretty interesting to compare the supers versus the subs and see how quickly they drop and then also kind of from a hunting perspective how much energy does 300 blackout have so i've picked out six different factory loadings we're going to just run through them real quick and I'm going to show you the dials for your scope. And yeah, a bunch of data that I just set here at my desk and put together, you can pick up for free. So check this out. Let's pop up the drop in inches. Drop in inches, you can see this chart here. I've got the heaviest in the 220 grain Remington, all the way down to that 110 grain Barnes that I was just showing you. And then a select few things in between. Also, while I'm thinking about it, if you want to see some group testing of all this i've spent an absolute fortune on 300 blackout blue lots there's a video subsonic testing and then a supersonic testing where we group test at 100 yards where i went and spent a ton of money buying up all the 300 blackout factory loadings that i could find and group testing them from a bench rest just to see what happened pretty interesting stuff go check out those videos if you haven't seen them already but back to what we're talking about this is the drop. Uh, so you can see the heaviest. This is all sighting them in at 100 yards. The heaviest, the 220 grain Remington. Between 100 yards and 150 yards. So just 50 yards. That thing drops 14 inches. That thing has a muzzle velocity uh, on this chart as 940. The box said 1,000. Uh, the ones that I pulled is loaded at 940. Anyways, uh, you can see how quickly the subsonics drop. So another thing to call out there, if your 300 blackout is sighted in with supers and then you go to fling some subs or vice versa, you're probably going to have quite a drastic change in point of impact. Just something to call out. So 220s all the way up to 110s. You can see the uh, bottom of the chart there, the 110 barns. From 100 to 150, only changes two inches, drops two inches. So, uh, carrying that on up to 200, yowzers. Those 220s between 100 and 200 yards drops almost four feet, three and a half foot of drop at between 100 yards and 200 yards with those 220 grain subs. But, then at the bottom of the chart, those 110s only drop 6 inches in the same distance from 100 yards to 200 yards. So you can freeze this, uh, but just to show you, 
essentially from a drop perspective on these six factory loadings. The lighter it is, the less it's going to drop. Pretty much stays true all the way across the board at every single given distance. No weird things happening there. The lighter the 300 blackout, the less it's going to drop. And I've run these numbers all the way out to 600 yards. Now, let's talk about energy. Why does energy matter? Well, if you're going to hit something, it might be good if you hit it with as much energy as possible, right? So how much energy does subsonic 300 blackout have? Ooh, look at those 220s. 432 foot-pounds. There's a lot of people prescribed to that. Eh, if you're hunting, or you need to have 1,000 uh, foot-pounds of energy to take a deer. Well, those 220s only have 432. I still don't want to get hit by 432 foot-pounds of energy, but I always tell people I do not advise hunting with subs. There are people that hunt with those 208 grain Amexes. There's people that hunt with those 190 grain sub Xs. People tell me that all the time, that they love it and it works great. Doesn't have that much energy. Um, if you could pick between supers and subs for hunting, uh, I will tell you to pick supers every day of the week. Unless you have an extreme situation where you just absolutely need to be quiet with subs. Don't hunt with subsonics. That's just my two cents. But then you see the switch there. When we get to those 150 grain Federal Power Shocks, 1,200 foot-pounds of energy at the muzzle, and then those 110 barns that I was showing you a second ago, those have 1,349 foot-pounds of energy. So even, even so, though, those supers, look at where they cross over the 1,000 foot-pounds of energy. 50 and 100 yards from the muzzle. That's not much. Uh, 300 blackout, maybe not the best deer catching machine that's out there. Yeah. Could it be done? Sure. Now, all that being said, um, that's a little bit of on drop and energy of 300 blackout. It's not the most powerful thing out there. It's not the fastest thing out there. Uh, I got the BCs and muzzle velocities on here. But I told you I was going to give you the dials for your scope on all these. So this is just some nerdy stuff, and it could help you out. So right here, the Remington 220s. If you got it sighted in at 100, here's the MOA column and the mill column. That would be for your scope. Again, sighted in at 100. Those are the dials on your scope. If you want that information, it should be pretty dead on accurate. Um, that's the 220s. Now let's do the same thing all the way to the 208 grains. You can freeze this screen right here. This is those Hornady Black Amaxes. MOA column, the mill column, the inch drop column. Save it if you, if you want it. Then the 190 sub X's. You can freeze this screen if you want it. Same thing. I'm going fast. We don't need to drag it out. Same information. Clicks for your scope. Then we got the 150 grain Federals. Notice those stay supersonic to 450 yards. So that might be some information you need to know. Now we're talking about hunting. That's rel more relevant information to me The dials on your uh, scope there. Then we got the same information for the 125 Grain Hornady, American Gunners, Supersonic all the way out to 550. And then we've got the 110 Grain Barnes, TAC-TX. Same information here. Uh, there's some information there to dial MOA and bills for your scope. So, hey, hope that helped you out. I did this quick video uh, because several people here recently have asked me, hey, you have all these boot lot drop videos, but you haven't done 300 blackouts. So now we got a 300 blackout boot lot drop video out there on the interwebs. Hope this helped you out, uh, especially if you're just getting into 300 blackout or you're considering it. There's some data out there. Uh, but if you're into 7 mag or, or 270 or 30 out 6 or 308 or 65 Creedmoor, we've done this exact video with all that stuff and a whole lot more. 243. 35 Wheeling, 450 Bushmaster, 350 Legend. We've done all those. 
So, if you want more information on any of those cartridges, just type in Hootie Who, whatever cartridge, and then boom, light, drop, and it'll pull the videos right up. But hey, 300 blackout, drops, and dials, and energy, now we know. It's not that uh, powerful, but it is pretty cool, especially with the subsonic stuff. But when you got the subsonic stuff, you don't have a whole lot of energy. But hey, I won't ramble on about it anymore. Now we've got the data uh, saved on the interwebs where we can all pull it up. And I can pull it up next time I need it. That's always cool too. That's part of why I have these videos too. But hey, appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you're subscribed. Don't forget to go over and check out hootiehoo.com. Subscribe to the newsletter. Bunch of cool stuff going up there. Make sure... You've subscribed to the channel. we got tons of videos coming out. Truly, truly appreciate y'all watching. It really means a lot. We'll see you guys on the next one. Hoo-dee-hoo.